Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Literature Vidya. I am Ankita and today we are going to study about Renaissance, the features of Renaissance and differentiate what were the conditions, what was the mindset of the people pre-Renaissance and in the Renaissance. We have already discussed in the previous lecture what led to Renaissance, what led to Reformation. So if you haven't watched that video, please first go and watch that video so that this video links up and it, be it becomes more interesting. Okay, so let's begin with the class. On the features of Renaissance. <clears throat> we had already studied about Erasmus and about uh, Martin Luther King's 95 Thesis, right, and Henry VIII's Act of Supremacy. We've already uh, studied in detail about them. So uh, we will continue further now. You should be clear about the point that within the Puritanism also there were two branches. One was the Anglicans, right? And they were said to have the softer sides of the Protestants, right? And another were the Puritans and they were extreme side of the uh, Protestants, okay? So, Anglican, it is a branch that developed after the English Reformation and Protestantism related to the Church of England, right? And it is related to the Church of England. The ideas of Luther were taken by Jean Calvin, right? Bad me, jo Luther ke ideas the, they were taken by Jean Calvin, who also talked about the idea of preoccupation, right? Who saw Bible as a literal word of the God and the very foundation of his ideas. And hence, he believed that man would directly communicate to God, right? So, Jean Calvin ne kya kaha? Jean Calvin ek protestant tha aur uska manna tha ki jo Bible hai, that's the real word of the God, right? To usko Bible ko padne ke liye koi bhi human being ko, why should he depend on the church or on the chapel master? Man ko khud Bible padni chahiye, he should have direct connections with God, Right? He should not have connections with God through intermediaries. Okay, that's what Jean Calvin is talking about. So, Protestantism is majorly talking about relationship between man and God, right? And the place of man in the world was re-examined. So, now with the coming of Protestantism, with the coming of Reformation, jo admi ka place hai, the place of man was reorganized, hai na? Admi ko, man ko bohut zyada tawajju di gai thi isme, right? Then over that, we had Copernicus and Galileo also coming in. They established and both Copernicus and Galileo put forward a concept ki earth nahi, sun hai, that is at the center of the universe, right? Inno ne yaha par aake Aristotle ke jo idea tha ki earth hamare center of the universe hai, usko deny karte huye kaha ki earth nahi, sun hai hamare center of the universe mein, thik hai? Matlab, Jo reformation period aya tha ya protestant period aya tha usme scientific temper constantly grow ho raha tha aur to hamare majorly teen features hain jo alag hain pehla scientific temper grow ho raha tha people were thinking about reason then about religion hai na secondly classical learning revive ho rahi thi erasmus had revived the classical learnings for us and the third point is that man was now at the center of the universe. He, man and his free will were at the core of the Renaissance. Okay? So before Renaissance, ideal pattern of living was dominated by the ethos of the church. Everything, pehle, before Renaissance, church was at the center. Everything about an individual was decided by the church. Church ultimate power tha. Right? But now it wasn't so. Now in Renaissance, Focus was on individual expression. Man was at the center. Institutions were questioned and re-evaluated. Right? Individual expression was very important. Here, this was understood that every man is a different individual. His opinions are different. His opinions are different. So, his opinions were given a lot of importance in this age. And whatever established institutions were, what was their motto, what was their aim, they were working, they were re-examined. Right? It refined the relationship with authority, history and science. Experimentation with form and genre and other literary innovations began. Right? And it is in this period that now we have literary genres ke saath bhi innovation karna shuru kar diye tha, right? We were trying different form of literary genres. Kar rahe thi. We were trying 
plays we were trying dramas right then we were trying poetry sonnets and different uh, literary forms hum log try kar rahe the एक्सप्लोर कर रहे थे तो एक टाइम पर आके वी वर इन अ स्टेट ऑफ क्रिएटिव टेंशन राइट रीजन राधर देन रिलीजन वॉज द ड्राइविंग फोर्स ओके रीजन था नाउ नॉट रिलीजन प्री रेनेसो इट वॉज रिलीजन बट नाउ इन द रेनेसो इट इज रीजन फ्री विल ऑफ द मैन इज एट द कोर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स या वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट इट कंसर्न्स ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी वर रीडिफाइंड ओल्ड एजम्पन्स वर नॉट वैलिड साइंटिफिक डिस्कॉस वर क्वेश्चन I mean, scientific discoveries were questioned. जो पहले scientific discoveries की गई थी अब उनको question किया गया था उनकी validity को check किया गया था Okay, man rather than God was the center. There was also atmosphere of creative tension. Yes, scientific discoveries were happening in the field of science, mathematics and astronomy. क्यों क्योंकि scientific temper भी इस वक्त अपने peak पे था तो बहुत सारी scientific discoveries भी हो रही थी in the field of science, mathematics and astronomy. Copernicus replaced Aristotle system that sun rather than the earth is at the center of the universe yes already talked about it after that harvey bhi aaya tha isi time ke dauran in 1628 aur usne kiske bare mein baat kiya he has talked about the circulation of blood usne circulation of blood ke bare mein baat kiya in the field of autonomy right harvey aata hai harvey talks about the circulation of blood and in the field of autonomy okay और 17th सेंचुरी के दौरान हमारी क्लॉक टेलीस्कोप थर्मोमीटर कंपास, माइक्रोस्कोप ये सब इन्वेंट होते हैं तो साइंटिफिक टेम्पर अपने पीक पर होता है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इनोवेशन होते हैं इस टाइम के दौरान ओके लिटरेचर में भी बहुत ज़्यादा इनोवेशन होते हैं हमने देखा कि बहुत सारे लिटरी जॉनर्स के साथ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन चल रहे हैं राइट एंड वेरी वेरी फेमस पीपल ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम द ग्रेट नेम्स ऑफ द टाइम वर शेक्सपियर मार्लो वेबस्टर जॉनसन सिडनी स्पेंसर डॉन मिल्टन बेकन नैश रेलिक ब्राउन एंड हुकर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ दिस इंडिविजुअल राइट बिकॉज दे आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ A very important point. 1611 में हमारी पहली ऑथराइज्ड वर्जन ऑफ बाइबल आती है राइट दैट्स कॉल्ड किंग जेम्स बाइबल फर्स्ट ऑथराइज्ड वर्जन ऑफ बाइबल कम्स इन 1611, राइट दैट्स कॉल्ड इधर द ऑथराइज्ड वर्जन ऑफ बाइबल राइट और द किंग जेम्स बाइबल राइट ये कब पब्लिश हुई थी 1611 में इस पे किंग जेम्स ने 1604 में ही अराउंड 50 स्कॉलर्स को लगा दिया था इस बाइबल को बनाने के लिए एंड दिस इज सेट टू बी द मोस्ट फेमस बाइबल ट्रांसलेशन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर अगर पूछा जाए विच इज द मोस्ट फेमस बाइबल ट्रांसलेशन दैट इज 1611 किंग जेम्स बाइबल राइट और द ऑथराइज वर्जन ऑफ बाइबल बट द मोस्ट प्रिंटेड वर्जन ऑफ बाइबल इज सिक्सटीन जेम्स वन बाइबल ओके okay. अगर मोस्ट प्रिंटेड की बात की जाएगी तो वो जेम्स वन की बाइबल है पर अगर मोस्ट फेमस की बात की जाएगी तो वो किंग जेम्स की है ओके आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द फीचर्स ऑफ द एज या सो हियर वी रैप अप विद द फीचर्स ऑफ द एज इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ द एज ओके एंड हाउ इट वॉज अनसेटल टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गन पाउडर प्लॉट एंड द पीपल इन्वॉल्व इन द गन पाउडर प्लॉट राइट देन वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्पेनिश अरमाडा राइट एंड वट लेट टू द स्पेनिश अरमाडा राइट and then which was the first public theater that was opened here and how the literature expanded in this political environment all of this we are going to talk about in the politics of renaissance in the next class okay if you like the session please hit the like button comment uh, share the lecture with your friends spread the knowledge uh, see you in the next class study hard